I'm Carolee Mitchell from MasterCard Worldwide Global Prepaid. I'm here at the Prepaid Expo in Las Vegas with Brian Simcue from Carta Worldwide, the founder, one of the founders of Carta. Carta, uh, Brian, thank you for joining me here today. In the prepaid industry, the processing solutions are so critical to success. And so when you talk about the next generation of processing solutions, maybe you could elaborate a little bit about your solutions and your methodology and how you execute in markets that you're in. So um, our vision for processing, if we look at the uh, historical development of processors, mm -hmm. um, they were traditionally made for bricks and mortar banking operations. And um, we believe that um, this is the bank branch of the future. Sure. So when we built our platform, we built it with that in mind. Okay. So years ago when we set out, a little over five years ago when we started to write code and started developing this, the systems, um, we had the mobile device in mind as, uh, as the next generation bank branch. That's great. And so, um, although we worked uh, in, in the, uh, with the infrastructure mm -hmm. and the, um, the uh, level of technology as it is in place today, mm -hmm. um, we are ready for the future. That's fantastic. The Prepaid Expo, uh, while we know, is um, a global conference. Many of the folks here are servicing U.S. businesses. I'm curious to know about your experience in the Middle East and Africa and how that might be different from somebody who might be processing in the States. Sure. Um, United States is um, uh, all about uh, working with the mag stripe. Mm -hmm. The rest of the world isn't. The rest of the world is very much EMV chip oriented. And so when we bring our solutions there, uh, we are working with those, those devices. Okay. So the, the big difference is, is, is really EMV and chip technology. Sure. And, and one of the ways that we, um, one of the reasons we set out to, uh, to establish this business is that what we, of course, discovered are the billions of people who are unbanked entering the economy mm -hmm. and those people have a mobile phone sure. and what is taking place right now is that little chip mm -hmm. that we've all will be coming to know and love mm -hmm. is shipping or will be shipping to those people in a mobile device so when we sure. set out to develop our technology we were certainly thinking about that trend as being important and what we are very focused on are delivering applications Mm -hmm. for the chip okay. in the phone in the prepaid world environment. That's great. Maybe you could talk a little bit about your technology and um, uh, technology and innovation and what you see happening in the future. So from a technology point of view, uh, mm -hmm. we have a platform that can uh, run uh, all of the card programs that are out there today. Mm -hmm. um, but um, where we start to differentiate ourselves is in another layer of te technology mm -hmm. which is a business intelligence layer uh, which allows you to um, put in another layer of rules and parameterization in order to bring products to market quickly and that is I think a consistent um, when you look at the next generation mm -hmm. systems that are out there that's a consistent feature of mm -hmm. the next generation systems okay. um, but on top of that uh, we have another layer of, of technology which allows us to do, do some things uh, with uh, instant issuance mm -hmm. and NFC deployments. And here is um, something that is, is unique to us in the world today. So for example, in your, with your MOTAPS technology, mm -hmm. we're the only enabler of MOTAPS okay. today from, a, from an issuing point of view. Great. Um, so uh, the, you know, in this world of instant gratification, when you have made a decision as a consumer and you would like a card or you would like your phone to become an NFC device. Right. Uh, we think MOTAPS is a very, very important technology and, uh, right. and it's, 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 it's an important uh, piece of our technology as we integrate it into, uh, into your... And for the audience who may not know what MOTAPS is, maybe you can share a little bit about what MOTAPS is. Simplistically, when you take a piece of plastic and sure. you turn it into a useful financial device, you mm -hmm. go through a, a process that mm -hmm. winds up with your name on that card. Mm -hmm. Um, MOTAPS allows you to do that instantly so mm -hmm. that you can go to a kiosk, put in your know your customer information and a few minutes later out comes a piece of plastic. Fantastic. The, that's very important for the enablement of NFC phones. That same technology mm -hmm. gets extended so when you think about 
you know, making a decision to have your phone become an mm -hmm. NFC payment device, mm -hmm. you want to be able to do that instantly. You don't want to be waiting for days in order to enable your phone. Agreed. And so that technology is, uh, I think, critical for the adoption of, uh, mm -hmm. of NFC payments. Great. When you think about the next sort of five to ten years, anything that you want to share about your perspective, point of view around what's going to happen in this space? Well, certainly I, I envision um, that there will come a time where plastic will be eliminated. Um, it, it's, it's not in the next few years, mm -hmm. um, but it's ultimately what I, what okay. I see. Um, Replaced by the mobile phone? Yes. NFC device? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I see geographically um, the next extension of prepaid is a wonderful platform to take um, where we're working again in, in the emerging markets. Mm. Uh, a lot of the unbanked people in, in the UAE and in uh, sure. and now Egypt and North Africa. Um, extending their payroll and their way that they're delivering, uh, eliminating uh, cash from, mm -hmm. um, from the systems. But that platform uh, allows for some very interesting applications that are financial inclusion applications, mm -hmm. like microfinance, for example. And, um, um, and, and prepaid is that platform for that. So mm -hmm. um, whether it's... Um, Delivering, you know, stretching a buyer's dollar by with through innovative loyalty programs mm -hmm. or microfinance, all those applications sit on top of prepaid, and I, I see that as being ultimately driving the um, the, the, the mobile device to mm -hmm. being the bank branch of the future. And you know, I think you'll see less and less and less um, bricks and mortar operations. Thank you for joining me here today to talk about um, Carta and the business, and we hope you enjoy the conference. Thank you very much for the invitation. Great.